Okay guys, today we are heading down the beach again and we are going to be looking for more abalone, also known as green ormus. Um, we had three tides over here that we were legally able to go and collect these and I decided to go on two of the tides, so this is like the second tide of the year that I've uh, gone on. Now, I wasn't feeling too great, but I thought I'd pop down an old mark that I haven't been to for, well it's been a few years since I've been down there. And I thought I'd go down there, get a bit of fresh air, walk around, just take it nice and casual, see if I could pick up half a dozen because a friend of mine wanted some. And yeah, made my way down there and things turned out to be great down there. Now, I was down there for sort of ooh, probably around three hours, maybe longer. And so what I've done is, the video obviously isn't three hours long because I've sat here chopping up. And these videos, are, they're incredibly hard to put together there because um, there's so much downtime in between finding almost and that and you certainly don't want to sit through all that so what I've done as well is I've compacted it chopped them in half and made two parts so this is part one part two will be coming up tomorrow so if you're watching this straight off the bat as it launches it'll be tomorrow the second part anybody else who's watching it later on the there should be a link in the description below for part two so anyway let's get down that beach so we're down here, the lot's been turned again, but that's pretty normal. Just having a look around here now. These waders, I mean, they, new ones, they almost got to my neck. <laughs> the only thing is, is they're, the filming might be a little bit off because I'm, uh, I have to stoop to the side of it because they're quite tight when I try and bend down. I don't want to break them. <laughs> Now I haven't been here for a few years to this mark. I used to come here a lot, but um, you need the right tides for this particular spot as well. Or the right size tides. You always find a few up here, but you need to get further out. Let's have a look around here. ones that have been pulled like that which I think I quite easily just flipped it back again. Let's have a look. Knobbly crab. Hold on. Or what we call walnut crab or I call walnut crab. There we go look. It's funny because I never see those in crab pots probably because to get through the net but in traps that when any fall they're always around like near the low tide mark uh, the lower tide marks not not high up there's a crab pot over here let's go have a look at this crab pot it's obviously a abandoned one we'll pull a few stones as we go so like this there might be too much sand around this yeah There you go, old inkwell pot. Great big rock in it. Oh no, no, it's just literally like that. It's just floating around. They're great for uh, brown crab, these pots. Also make good uh, store pots if you want to keep your cats for a few days or in the water like. Now you can see rocks like this this has been turned, but this has been turned a few months ago. You can just tell by the way the growth on it, whereas this one hasn't. See all the anemones on the rocks as well. There's loads of them. Hold on, there might be a baby underneath here. There is. There's a baby here. 
hopefully you can see that. And right next to it, this is a sea slug. It's a type of, let me see if I can get hold of it. This is a sea slug. It's like this white frilly one. I can't remember its name. You see them occasionally under the rocks. They're not as common as this other one. We get a brown one, but you do get this type. So I'll just, I'll put him down the side actually, because I don't want to, I don't want to crush this ormer. I'm going to put the rock back. Well, so we're off to a start then. We know there's ormer about. Let's find some big ones. <coughs> It's a big rock, the trouble is this rock, it's round, I think it's been lifted as well, looking at its position. There's a prawn, just a common prawn we get here, when they get a bit bigger. We'll have to go for these one day, we'll come down with the shrimp net and we'll uh, get some larger ones, cook them up, because they are the tastiest. Out of all the prawns I've ever eaten, they, to me they are the tastiest. They're more sort of meaty, not so glassy. Right, got to search for them stones that have been missed. There's a baby one under there. That's why I turned the camera back on. I thought there's better to be one under that. But there's only a little one again. We found quite a few small ones, nothing big yet though, or big enough. here he's just changed his shell so he's soft baby one far too small though First one, and let that rock drop so I can. Then again, it might be a bit small. Let's find out. There's got to be a broken shell there, so let's see. I think this is going to be illegal actually. That is actually illegal. Yep, that's a legal one. Our first one. Let me just check the stone here before I pull that stone back. Let's make my life easier. But I can see another rock that's been missed, so I'll go and check that in a sec. This rock here hasn't been lifted. Normally you go in the water, but not today. <laughs> Excuse the camera if it gets a bit 
splash now and again. We are where the water's smashing in. Baby one. Two baby ones, in fact. Hold on, there might be one here. There's one. Perfect, that's a nice one. That's a good one. Finally, number two. <laughs> For you, it's probably a matter of minutes from seeing me catch the first one. But it's been a while, I can tell you that. I'm finding a lot of baby stuff, but I'm not finding anything oversized. It's just one of these days. I was taking a gamble coming down here though. But I, you know, it's more of a, a recon today to, to see what's in certain areas. Because there's some very big tides coming up. And I want to be able to gauge where to go from that. Oh, I just found this one. I think it's under size. Yeah, just under. Popping me out there, so it's out the way. Now the trouble with this area is We've got millions of rocks as you might be able to see but you don't get millions of warmers under these rocks you find maybe a rock with two or three then you're left 30 rocks with nothing so you've got to be quite selective which rocks you pick around here that one's been lifted There we go, there's one, and it's big enough, and I just dropped it, yeah, got it, yeah, good, now we're finding a few, I say a few, we're up to three, <laughs> but that's alright, I'll keep searching, so it might be worth going around to the little spots I do know where you do get a few warmers. Yeah, straight away, first rock, baby. Doesn't look like anybody's been here either. Probably because it's so such hard work here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is one of those places where you've got 50 rocks with nothing and one rock with almost. But there's massive rocks here you'll never get over so there's always a good stock breeding stock here Is they're all locked together, so you've got to move one and leave it, and then move the next one, kind of thing. It's finding a place to start. It's not looking good. Let's go to my hot spot, or well, what used to be my hot spot. I get them, I do get them where I am here as well, but. I think I need to concentrate on the, the areas which I feel have got the most chance now. The tide will be coming in and that'll be that. We'll have a quick scout as we go there. 
Right, I think this is one area here, although it's changed a lot. Stuff rolls around here too much. There we go. My hot spot. <laughs> Look at that giant. That's why I decided to come straight to this little area. Great. So now we're up to four. Four? Maybe five. Four, I think. I don't know. Right, let's see. Let's see if there's any more here. I'll have to leave that rocks up for the moment because. I need to get to the one underneath. No. Nothing under that one. Okay. Having a look around in the crevices. Can get them in these crevices as well. I see one. Yep, I don't know if I can get my hook under it though. This is such a tight crevice. Yeah, I'm not going to get that one out. I mean, I could sit here for 10 minutes and get it, but it's in there. But I'm going to leave that one. Look at that, look at that. Absolute cracker under there. Whew, feeling the pace now. See that is worth, that is worth two small ones easily. Far rather have ones like that than the little ones. Have you got a little one over there? Let's have a look at this one. He's probably just under that one. Let's have a look. No, he is actually size. Yeah, that is a size Ulmer. So, if you look at the difference there, that's a the size one, and that's the ones I like to find. <laughs> this is a good place for it, but like I say, it's extremely hard work. Right, just check the camera's not all gunked up with water. So, a couple here might be worth having a quick look under a few rocks here. Bag out. I always take the ones that are size, and what I'll do is, as you saw, if you watched the last video, I uh, always gauge them on the way back up as well, give them a second check just to be certain. I don't want to get in trouble having anything illegal because sea fisheries usually wait around the tops of the beaches and measure me almost. We didn't see them last time, but they are around. One, two, three. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Holy cow. Look at them absolute buttes. And that's why as we're having a crack at that rock. You've got one, two, there's a tiny one there. There's four under there. Two size, two under. Perfect. And that is even bigger than the last one. This one here. Look at the size of that. That is massive. Right, let's get this one off as well. It's got two cracking big ones. Now, I'm gonna take these little ones off because I'm gonna put the rock back and I don't know how it's gonna fall being a big rock. So, I'll just took that off. The little ones probably, I got him off. Just check this little rock on the side as well. Whoa, look at that. Little rock on the side as well. Right, let me put these, I'll put these almost down there. They will find their way back, all right. They do move around quite a bit. Just shows how your luck can change. Right, let's try and get this rock back. 
Uh, let me just check this small rocks as well. Nothing under that. Just check there's no other. Like I said, it only takes a small rock and you can get a good all back. There you go, look at that. Another one. It's just on that little rock. This is what I was saying about when you find one, you normally find a few. So. There's this rock as well. And that one's got nothing in there. Okay, let's try and get this back. There we go, it's back. The little ones aren't so important because they will move in storms. Let's check all these now. Now we've got to go for it around here. Because you never know. There could be more.